In the heart of their secret hideout, a control room buzzing with energy and excitement, five friends gathered around a shimmering energy ball that floated effortlessly above the console. The ball pulsed with a soft blue light, casting intricate shadows across the walls adorned with star charts and colorful diagrams of planets. It projected a stunning 3D map of the entire galaxy, each star twinkling like a diamond against the dark canvas of space. Leo, Mia, Jake, Zara, and their trusty assistant robot, Robo, stood in awe, their eyes wide with wonder. Leo, the adventurous ringleader at the age of 10, leaned closer to the projection, his finger tracing the paths of distant stars. Look at all these places we can explore, he exclaimed, his voice bubbling with enthusiasm. We've already been to three planets this month. Imagine what else is out there. Mia, a year younger but equally spirited, adjusted her glasses and squinted at the map. Wait, what are those coordinates? She pointed to a cluster of symbols etched in an ancient language, glowing faintly near the edge of the galaxy. They look different from everything else. Zara, the perceptive eight-year-old with a knack for sensing things others couldn't, shivered slightly. I don't know, but it feels strange, like something is waiting for us out there. Her eyes darted around the room, as if she could see something lurking just beyond the edges of the map. Jake, the oldest at 11, crossed his arms and leaned back against the console, his brow furrowed in thought. Ancient language? We should definitely check it out. Who knows what kind of treasure or adventure awaits us? He glanced at Robo, their metallic companion, who stood silently by their side, ready to assist. Robo, can you translate those coordinates? I'll see you, Leo asked, his voice filled with anticipation. Processing. Robo replied in its cheerful, synthesized tone. A moment passed before it continued. Coordinates confirmed. Location is designated as Planet Xylon 7. Initial scans indicate the presence of unusual energy signatures. Mia's eyes sparkled with curiosity. Unusual energy? That sounds exciting. Let's go. Wait, Jake interjected, a hint of caution in his voice. We should prepare first. We don't know what we might find there. Zara nodded, her expression serious. And we need to be ready for anything. What if it's dangerous? Leo straightened up, determination shining in his eyes. We're always ready for an adventure. Besides, we have Robo with us. We can handle anything together. He turned back to the map, excitement bubbling within him. Let's see what we can find out about Xylon 7. As the friends gathered in around the energy ball, Robo began to project more information about the mysterious planet. Images of swirling clouds and vibrant landscapes filled the air, accompanied by data about its atmosphere and terrain. Xylon 7 is known for its rich biodiversity and ancient ruins, Robo informed them. However, it is also marked by an SOS signal detected approximately 1,000 years ago. An eerie silence fell over the group as they processed this revelation. The idea of a distress signal echoed in their minds, intertwining with Zara's previous intuition. What if someone is still there? What if they need our help? Mia whispered, her voice barely above a breath. Leo's heart raced. Then we have to go. We can't ignore a call for help. He turned to his friends, his passion igniting their spirits. We're going to save them. Jake smiled, his earlier caution melting away in the face of Leo's enthusiasm. All right, but let's make sure we're prepared. Robo, can you help us gather supplies for the journey? Affirmative, Robo replied, its mechanical limbs whirring to life. I will retrieve the necessary equipment for exploration and navigation. Please stand by. As Robo moved to the supply closet, Mia turned back to the map, her fingers dancing over the coordinates. I can't believe we're actually going to explore a planet with a distress signal. What do you think happened there? On a Hey. Zara, still feeling the weight of her intuition, spoke softly. Maybe they were in trouble. Maybe they need friends like us to help them. Jake nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. Whatever happened, we'll figure it out together. We always do. Robo returned, its arms laden with gear, communication devices, emergency supplies, and even a small first aid kit. Supplies have been gathered. All equipment is ready for deployment. Great job, Robo! 
Leo cheered, clapping his hands together. Let's get to the launch pad and prepare for our first test flight. We need to be ready to leave as soon as we can. With a flurry of excitement, the friends made their way to the launch pad. A vast space filled with their custom-built spacecraft, the Star Chaser. It gleamed under the bright lights, its sleek design promising adventure and discovery. As they climbed aboard, the atmosphere buzzed with anticipation. All right, everyone, let's check our systems, Jake instructed, taking the lead as he settled into the pilot's seat. Mia, can you monitor the navigation? Zara, keep an eye on the energy levels. And Leo, you're in charge of communications with Robo. Got it, Mia replied, her fingers flying over the control panel as she input the coordinates for Xylon 7. Zara stood by the energy gauge, her eyes wide as she watched the levels fluctuate with excitement. Leo adjusted the communication devices, ready to connect with Robo. Systems are operational, Robo announced, its voice echoing through the cabin, initiating pre-launch sequence. As the engines roared to life, the vibrations filled the spacecraft, sending shivers of exhilaration through the friends. They exchanged glances, each one reflecting a mixture of excitement and nervousness. This was it, the moment they had been waiting for. Ready for takeoff? Nixi, Nanti Adi Seisai, Jake asked, his hands steady on the controls. Ready! The others chimed in unison, their voices a chorus of determination. With a deep breath, Jake pressed the launch button, and the Star Chaser soared into the sky, breaking through the atmosphere and into the vastness of space. The stars twinkled around them, a breathtaking panorama that made their hearts race with wonder. As they traveled, Mia kept her eyes glued to the navigation screen, watching as the coordinates drew closer. We're almost there. Just a few more minutes. Zara's excitement bubbled over. I can't wait to see what Xylon 7 looks like. I hope it's beautiful. Leo grinned, his imagination running wild. Maybe it's filled with amazing creatures, or ancient treasures, or even... Or maybe it's dangerous, Jake interjected, his tone light but serious. Let's stay focused, everyone. As they approached the planet, the view outside the cockpit transformed. A swirling mass of colors and landscapes came into focus, revealing lush forests, towering mountains, and shimmering lakes. But amidst the beauty, a dark cloud hovered over one area, a stark contrast to the vibrant surroundings. There, Mia pointed at the screen. That's where the SOS signal is coming from. Jake adjusted their course, guiding the star chaser toward the ominous cloud. Let's get a closer look and see what's going on down there. As they descended through the atmosphere, the landscape below grew clearer, revealing structures that looked like ancient ruins, weathered by time, yet still majestic. The dark cloud seemed to pulse with energy, drawing them in like a magnet. Robo, can you scan for life signs? Leo asked, his heart pounding in his chest. Scanning, Robo replied, its sensors whirring. Life signs detected. One entity is located within the ruins. Energy levels are fluctuating. Zara's eyes widened. What does that mean? It means someone is down there, Mia said, her voice filled with urgency. We have to help them. Jake landed the Star Chaser gently, the engines humming as they powered down. All right, team, let's stick together and be cautious. We don't know what we're walking into. With the Hsiak supplies in hand, the friends stepped out of the spacecraft, the air thick with anticipation. The ruins loomed ahead, a testament to a civilization long gone. Vines crept up the stone walls, and the remnants of ancient carvings adorned the surfaces, whispering stories of a time forgotten. As they approached, a soft glow emanated from within the largest structure. That must be where the life signs are coming from, Leo said, his voice barely above a whisper. Let's go, Jake urged, leading the way as they stepped inside the ruins. The air felt charged, as if the very walls were alive with energy. Shadows danced around them, creating an atmosphere thick with mystery. In the center of the chamber, they found a small figure, hunched over a device that flickered with light. The figure looked up, revealing bright eyes filled with fear and hope. You, you came! Ah, it exclaimed, its voice trembling. Leo stepped forward, his heart racing. We're here to help, what happened? The figure, a young alien with shimmering skin and delicate features, pointed to the device. 
I sent the SOS. Our planet is in danger. The energy we rely on is fading, and soon we will be lost. Mia gasped, her mind racing with the implications. How can we help? The alien looked at them with desperation. You must restore the energy source. It is hidden deep within the mountains. Without it, we cannot survive. Zara felt a surge of determination. We'll do it! We'll save your planet! Leo turned to his friends, his eyes shining with resolve. All right, team, we're going to save them. Let's find that energy source. With a renewed sense of purpose, the friends set out on their quest, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As they ventured deeper into the unknown, Leo's voice rang out with conviction. We're going to save them! And with that, their adventure unfolded, each step bringing them closer to the heart of Xylon 7 and the hope of a world in need.